Hello, thank you for watching. This is Quarantunes for Concert Band. I'm Mr. Spur. Quarantunes, Quarantunes, we're stuck inside with Quarantunes. In this lesson, we'll begin with a breathing exercise. We'll move on to some sight reading, and then we'll end by looking at our Standards of Excellence book. Students will be able to sight read rhythms using 16th notes, and then perform the Concert G Natural Minor Scale. So the breathing exercise. Breathe in for four, hold for four, and exhale on a sizzle. Let's put our right hand on our belly, left hand on our side, and let's feel that forward and sideways expansion. Here we are. And one, two, three, four. Breathe in. Hold. And. Let's do the same thing again, only this time I'd like you to play that on a concert G. So that would be an A for B flat instruments and E for saxophones. Here we are. Sit. One, two, three, four. Breathe in. Hold. And. Let's take a look at the sight reading. As you can see written on the board right here, we have four sixteenth notes. When we count sixteenth notes, the sixteenth notes are counted as one, E, and A. Ah. Let's now apply this to our rhythm of the day. Here's the rhythm. First, we'll count it. Next, we will figure out how to count it, then we'll count it one more time, and then finally we get to play with our band instruments. This is set to 60 clicks per minute. Two, ready, and count. One, E, and a two, three, four. One, two, E, and a three, four. One, two, three, E, and a four. One, two, three, four, E, and a. Excellent. Take a moment now to pause the video, write the rhythm on the board, and then together we're going to figure out how to count it. So, as you can see, we have two types of notes, sixteenth notes and quarter notes. Okay? And everything falls on the beat. So, let's figure out how to count this. So, measure one has four sixteenth notes at the beginning. So, that's one, E, and A. Uh, and then the rest of the chord notes fall on beats two, three, and four. Next, we have chord note on beat one. The sixteenth notes are on beat two, so that's two, E, and A. Uh, and then the chord notes on three and four. Then we have uh, chord note on beat one. Quarter on beat two, and then sixteenth notes on three, E, and A, uh, and then we have a quarter note on beat four, and then lastly we have quarter note on beat one, two, three, and then four sixteenth notes for E and A. Uh. Let's try counting this out again. One. Well, that was a little different. Anyway, let's see if this will work this time. Uh, no. There we are. Ready and a count. One E and a two, three, four. One, two E and a three, four. One, two, three E and a four. One. Two, three, four, E, and up. Now I'd like us to play this on our instruments. Make sure we're articulating this correctly. So flutes, you're saying two, as in two, 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 two. Clarinets, reeds, I should say. Uh, your tongue is nice and curved, so that way it's touching the tip of the reed and it's just barely lifting off. You can make that shape with your tongue by making a hissing sound like a cat. 
And then um, brass, you say ta, as in ta, 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 ta. All right, here we go. Let's play this uh, on a concert G uh, for the first two beats and then a concert D on the second two beats. So that way our percussionists won't get bored by playing the same notes. They actually covered 16th notes a couple weeks ago. And uh, this would actually help them become more familiar with the keyboard. So let's try it. G for beats one and two, D for beats three and four. Here we are. Yeah, those are concert pitches, by the way. One, two, ready, and a go. As you can see, even I made a mistake with the pitch because I need more practice with the keyboard. Therefore, it proves that this exercise is very important to do. Okay, uh, let's look at the uh, book. Okay, so we're going to open up our books to page 6, number 23. Um, this is the Concert G Natural Minor Scale. Now, keep in mind, this isn't the G Natural Minor Scale, but this is the G Natural Minor Scale. If you remember from last year, 8th grade might remember this, we were talking about scales. There are actually three different kinds of, of uh, minor scales. We have the one we're learning today, the natural minor. Which sounds like this. And then we have the harmonic minor. I'm just going to write harmonic, and where we just change one pitch right at the very end, it's the seventh, we just raise it. And then we have the melodic, which is not in your book as far as I can tell, but we still might talk about it later in the week. Anyway, the melodic sounds like this. We change some of the ending notes. The one we're going to talk about today is the natural minor. So, let me grab my book too, so that way I have an idea as to what we're playing. So, if you look at your key signature, you'll notice that it's actually the same key signature as the um, concert B flat. So, this is what you'll do. In order to find that relative natural minor, you would write down the pitches of the major scale. So I'm going to write all these in concert pitch, okay? So those of you out there that play like B flat or saxophone, you're going to have to transpose a little bit. So B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat. So this is the major scale. When you transpose it, or not transpose it, when you find the relative minor, what you got to do is, of course, we need to assign the scale degrees. You start at the top, and then you go down two. So, actually, you go down three steps. So this is one step. This is another step. This is another step. You got to go to the six. Okay. Once you're at the six, that's the name of the minor scale, the relative minor. And then you start there and you recycle all the pitches. So that would be G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, and G. Those are the pitches to the natural minor scale. Okay? And that's what's written in your book. So that would mean, what's that? Uh, B flat instruments, you would be the A minor scale. And then saxes, I think yours is an E minor scale. So let's take a look at this before we play. Uh, I want you to take your pencils out and make a quick change. Locate measure three. I want you to color in that half note, turn it into a quarter, and then draw a quarter rest underneath that breath mark. You're going to breathe during that rest. All right, 
So we're going to count this out first. We'll say pitch names. Then you're going to say pitch names. And then finally we'll get to play. All right. With the click, let's have this at tempo 70. There we go. And one, two, ready, count. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Uh, get your pencil out again. Cross out that fermata. Okay, next we're going to say pitch names. Remember, I'm in concert pitch, so some of you out there are going to have to transpose. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G. F, E flat, D, C, B e flat, A, G. Okay, for stage three, you can just rewind the video and then just finger along as you're uh, saying the pitch names with the previously recorded material. And now we're going to play this. Here we are. I'm going to play at the higher register. Actually, no, I have one high and then one low. Here we are. One, two, ready, play. That's the lesson for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can contact me through the three methods written on the board. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time, and stay safe out there.